Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Camouflage of the World. What? Oh, you can already see, it's not really camouflage. But technically it's of the world, so I have to do it. Today we're going to be going on about UCP. Universal Cock Punch. Which is what they should have called it, because that's about what it did. As far as camouflage effectiveness being universal in the world. So this is very near and dear to me, as I had to wear this crap when I was, you know, a stupid 18 year old. And... I can tell you personally, I have never seen this work except one place in the entire world and it didn't really matter at that point because it was in the United States and it was in a bunch of rocks and it barely worked. It just kind of made you look maybe a half a second past the person and then realize, oh, there's somebody wearing ACUs. Okay, so rant kind of over for the beginning. We'll get into the history of this right now. So in case you don't know about this wonderful crock of shit, Around the late 1990s and around 2000, the Army wanted to replace the battle dress uniform in the Woodland M81 pattern with something different. So it was between this and uh, Multicam, which was made by Cry Precision. And the only difference is this was a kind of um, Army uh, internal research facility funded thing. And all they did was pretty much take MARPAT, which ripped off CADPAT, the Canadian camouflage pattern, digital. And so the army's like, well, we want to do digital camouflage too. So instead of going with multicam, which they're kind of doing now, as far as ripping off the color scheme and whatnot, they decided to invest trillions or probably billions realistically of dollars in this bullshit. So the idea behind this was, well, we will only have to issue soldiers one uniform for any environment in the world. Okay, well, looking at this right now, to me, to me, this looks like a gray uniform. Like, overall, standing back, it looks gray. Now, people have told me, people have told me that color right there is green. I don't see it. I guess I'm hue deficient. Just, like, 75 to 80% of males are hue deficient in that color of green. It looks gray. So why the hell would you put that color green in your army's uniform if you're trying to actually make it look camouflage? Okay, cool beans, doesn't matter, we'll get over that. That's just conjecture and personal opinion. And yes, I am ragging on it because it sucks. I've never seen it work. Out in the woods, you can see somebody from a mile away. So, and for those who aren't hue deficient in that color that still looks green, you can still see it because it's white. It's got like this white beige color, this lighter gray, which is okay, I'm fine with lighter gray. That's not a bad color when it's not paired with this and that. So, stupid pattern. They ripped it off of the Marines because they wanted to act and feel like they were tough, just the same reason they went with the beret. You know, take that away from elite units. Everybody's got to feel special. Instead of going with multicam, which would have cost more money, then they decided to waste billions of dollars of this and then go to something like multicam anyway, which they use in Afghanistan. And now Scorpion is an adaptation of Cry Precision's original pattern. So I'm not even going to get into the design with the Velcro and the, the bullshit just, I, I won't even get into that. We're, gonna, we're just going to talk about the camouflage pattern for now. Um, again, it sucks. It's horrible. I hate it. I don't even know why it's on this playlist, but we have to do it because the memory has to be known. So history, bad history doesn't ever repeat itself. Um, oh, I forgot. Yeah, this is the one I got blood stains on. Fun. That's genuine blood. That's what blood stains look like. They don't look like rust. Just so you know, everybody that gets closed, they're like, oh, I have blood stains on it. Nah, it's probably rust because it looks really bright. I didn't even notice those. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, this pattern pretty much was a universal failure. That's really the only universal thing about it. Um, in Iraq, when I was there, I saw this pattern turn blue in the color sun reflecting off of the sand and, you know, whatnot. Um, then we got these uh, flame retardant ones that are made out of a different material, but the same pattern. And they turn pink after you washed them, and they're in the desert sun. Uh, a couple of my buddies who were in Afghanistan said the same thing. It turns blue in the sun. You can see it from a mile away. It didn't work. The only way it would work is if you got it totally dirty and the dirt was actually your camouflage and not this. So it looks tacky. It always did look tacky. And I don't understand why they wasted all that time, money, and effort into developing this or not really developing it just producing it when they were just going to go with multicam anyway so this is probably gonna be the longest and most negative video out of this entire series but again it's very very near and dear to me because i had to endure not being able to be all super 
sneaky ricky ticky recon with this stuff because people saw me from a mile away so yeah just getting up close if you haven't seen this stuff or if you're from another country well you probably have it's been rubbed in everyone's faces and we like to be imperialistic and wear this shit everywhere we go and invade or just have a military presence in yeah this is this is pretty like nasty stuff it just doesn't blend in anywhere and it looks awful i'm glad they finally changed it but it pisses me off that they wasted thousands or billions of dollars and probably probably quite a few lives let's let's really be honest here how many people were seen and how many lives did this cost because they were seen and it didn't at all affect or positively affect their camouflage all it did was be negative again not not trying to get a liability thing going here but you know you think about it, it it's pretty shitty when you design a uniform camouflage pattern that's this bad and that was used for that long simply because of an ego stroke and you're trying to save a couple bucks, but you end up spending it in the long run. Yeah, that's what you get when you get with U with uh, UCP. So I think the rant's about over. I absolutely abhor this camouflage pattern, if you can't tell. Um, it's not even really a camouflage pattern. It just sucks. I'm keeping these because it's a piece of history that I don't want to be lost. And um, I, I just really want people to know how stupid the United States was at this point in their history. All right, rant over. Sorry about that, guys. I did get the history in there. So, um, oh, it was used from about 2004 to 2000. Well, it's still being phased out, but so we'll say 2018. So it's got you know, like a 15 year service life on it. I would have rather worn DCUs in the sandbox and BDUs back here, but you can't win them all. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you got a laugh out of it. I was pissed off because this stuff just irritates me. Um, good work clothes, though, when you're not in the military. They're pretty cool, nylon cotton. Not the shirts, but uh, the pants. I cut a lot of those off and made shorts, and they're kind of snazzy and comfy. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more cool videos like this. And uh, click the bell notification thing. Give this video a thumbs up. Um... Oh, also consider supporting the channel on Patreon. The link to that is in the description. For just a dollar a month, you um, help support this channel. I do fund this about 99% out of pocket. And any kind of crowdfunding really helps offset the cost of like doing ballistic tests, going out and shooting and stuff. And just helps me make uh, keep creating content for you guys to watch. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Because I kind of feel better now that I got all that crap off my chest. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.